Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I bring you the first part of two parts of my mom's estate. This is the house that I have been avoiding building by building other houses as you guys saw in my last video. I built a cake house and an island paradise kind of house, but not really because I need to go to that world. But this is a two-parter. I am so sorry. I have so much footage from recording just like building this house it is literally five houses on one lot and um it gets a little expensive i did have to use some of the things from island paradise oh my goodness that tiki bar oh amazing i put an island in the middle of my mom's pool because i wanted to use this so much i didn't want it to be like on the side where my water falls are i wanted it in the middle of the pool and i got to achieve that oh my goodness it's so great and speaking of island paradise the sims 4 has got island living coming out later on this month like in 10 days well nine when you guys are watching this we're gonna have island living and i have literally been just digesting all of this content and it just makes me want to find the money to start getting my home office together so I can have my PC and just play these games. Oh my goodness, I love The Sims. I have always loved The Sims. And they have mermaids in this pack. And I've been watching, like I said, just tons of videos from people who are um, game changers. You know, they get flown out to whatever, like, event by EA, and they review it and bring back that content for us so we can kind of sort of not be in unfamiliar territory, but, like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, not uncomfortable. I am so excited. I'm so sorry how loud I am sounding. I'm just, like, so excited. I have loved The Sims for many, many years. So many years now. And, oh, I'm so happy. And also, there's, like, supposed to be two other packs coming as well but we'll get there when we get there but i am so excited but let's talk about i keep saying but i'm sorry i'm just excited please forgive me let's talk about my mom's estate i talked with my mom quite a lot on how she wanted her estate to live to look okay um and her mind she wanted the four houses that you guys will see later on um to be connected to the main estate I didn't want to do that. It looks terrible in practice. I tried to do that. I actually didn't record me building the actual house because I spent three hours just fiddling with walls and terrain to figure out how this house needed to look. Didn't record any of that. I'm sorry. I'm sure you guys probably wanted to see me build it, but you guys can see it in an overview, just how detailed this house is. Like this, I did some landscaping. She really wanted a half like a circle kind of driveway kind of look. So I gave her that. Granted, there are no cars parked into this because when I finally settled on the design, I realized that I was too close to the sidewalk. That's fine. There is a set garage area, two garages with two cars in it. That's something I really like about The Sims 3 in comparison to The Sims 4. They are a vehicle and your Sims will actually use them. I understand the reason why we don't have vehicles in the sims 4 but i think that's just be like really cool to you know have but i understand it's okay a loading screen over you know the open world concept is just a little bit easier to do and for their game engine so but in the sims 3 we have cars so i put a car on every lot don't even care but this house is loosely based off of my mom's actual house with the colors. There are a lot of elements in this house that is very representative of me. Um, yes, there's a Christmas tree in this house. Yes, she fought me on that, but I told her that it's my brand and that there will be a Christmas tree in her house. So I put one in. Um, Mom, if you're watching this, I told you there was going to be a Christmas tree. Um, oh, also... My mom is supporting me on YouTube. She has a YouTube, so she's watching my videos, and that means, like, so much to me because this is, like, a lot of work, and she definitely, like, recognizes it. As a matter of fact, when I was, like, talking to her the other day, she's like, I saw one of your videos. That is a lot of work. I'm like, yes, and you get to see a sped-up version of what essentially is about a six-hour uh, recording. So, yes, it is a lot of work, 
but you know, I'm thoroughly enjoying it and she can tell that I'm enjoying it. So hi mom, thank you for watching my videos. Maybe we can get you to watch some of uh, my brother's Twitch streams. Yeah, yeah, maybe, okay, it's, it's okay. We'll get there, we'll get there. For all of you who don't know, my brother does stream on Twitch. His um, handle is down in the description box. So your discretion advice, some of the games he does play is for more of an adult crowd. Um, but he does play a lot of, he plays a very eclectic mix of games. You just got to catch him. He doesn't have a set streaming time as of yet because of work and everything. But you subscribe to him, you get a notification. I get notified. I, I follow him. I'll pop in for a couple of minutes before I work on my YouTube channel. So just support your family in any way, shape, or form you can, no matter how small, no matter how much time you don't think you have. You have enough time to support those who are closest to you and your loved ones. Let me tell you about this house, though. Let me tell you about this house. When I was designing this house, when I was trying to get the general layout of this house, I knew based on like what my mom and I had been talking about, she wanted a ranch style house, so no second floors. I love floors. I love levels in my houses. I'm sure you guys have noticed. I love the fact that I have to scroll up and down to try and find my Sims a hundred different times. I don't know why. That's just how I play my game. But she really emphasized the fact that she wanted a ranch style home. So I was able to do that. But I also put a lot of elements in this house that if I could afford a house such as this, that I would want to see in my house as well. So it's kind of a mix, a good little mix. There is a den. Um for my father. He plays video games, same as my brother. I mean, you could say it all started with him. Thanks, Dad. Thumbs up. Um, there is also, I put a sunroom and a kid's room, a kid's playroom, you know, because she's, you know, she, she loves to take care of the family, grandkids, and all that stuff. I think anyone, really, honestly, that is a grandparent would want a room for their grandchildren to come and play, and you can sit and watch them. So I did put a, the kid's room adjacent to the sunroom. I really wouldn't call it a sunroom because it's kind of just like an indoor eating area. You can grill out there and everything. There are windows all along that back wall so that it does give the sunroom effect. Um, there is, I did put a fully functioning like bathroom for guests. If you know my sim, whenever they like, if they decide to move here, I don't know yet. I might create a sim for this house just so like it's being used. Um, there is a half, there is a fully functioning bathroom. There is a laundry room in this lot as well. The master bedroom and the master bathroom. The master bathroom gave me a little bit of trouble. As a matter of fact, I had to play test the shower in this build to see if it even worked. And it does. So I continued on. I cut that out completely because you guys didn't need to see me like fiddling with my sim to try and convince the shower to be where I needed it to be, but I really liked it. What I really wish we had in The Sims 3 is a corner bathtub. You would, they have that in The Sims 4, but they don't have that in The Sims 3, so I kind of have to make do with it, but it's fine. The house is gorgeous. It's stunning. I love this L-shaped um, island that I have in the kitchen. I've been doing that a lot recently. I feel like it just fills up the room a lot more, plus there's a lot more seating. So there's informal seating, and there's a you know formal seating with a dining room kind of aesthetic going on. I really had to get into my mom's head to figure out like what my mom would want in her kitchen. Like we talked, yes, we talked, trust me, we talked at length about it. As a matter of fact, she's probably tired. I was probably tired of me asking about what she wanted in her house because I just wanted it to be as true to her vision as possible. Um, I usually don't do houses like this. I built a cake, okay, I built a cake um, because I want a cake. Or I build an apple pie box because I wanted an apple pie. But, you know, so these super hyper-realistic kind of houses. This house is so expensive. Like, it literally hit over 300 k and just how much furnishing I did to just fill up the space. There's a lot of dead areas, and I struggled with that for a lot. So you'll see me do the mother, mother load sheet a lot. And I would do free build or, you know, the equivalent of that in Sims 3, but I like it's like a routine now, like, oh, I'm out of money, let me hit my cheat in, oh, I need to alt place this, but I really did enjoy building this house, I mean, it took me 15 hours to build this house, yes, it took me 15 hours to build this house, three of those hours was just me trying to figure out the layout of the house, one of those hours was trying to figure out 
how big or how small I need this lot to be. And I ended up choosing the biggest lot that I had within town, which ironically is the lot right next to my founder house within this world. Um, you guys saw my founder house in my last video. So it's literally the lot right next to it. And I literally used every inch of this lot. Like I'm telling you, I have never done that before. Uh, you'll see that in my island, in quotes, my island house that I only use the corner of it because my thought process for that island house was like, oh, I'm going to mess with terrain tools. And then I got frustrated, flattened the whole land and built the house <laughs> the way that I thought would make sense. But it's okay. I cut that out. You guys only saw the screenshot. I will probably do a walkthrough of um, that house because I really do like that house. I might do a walkthrough of some of the houses that I have built before I started recording for YouTube. And I'm trying to decide whether or not I'm going to build a house with my voice actually embedded into the video. I'm kind of scared to do that because a lot of the time I'm just laying there, uh, not laying there, sitting here, like eating or snacking or whatever, just like talking to myself. Like I have no problem talking to myself. I'm like, but like, there's a lot of moments where I'm pausing and I'm just like, hmm, uh, like I'm just making all these noises. And I'm pretty sure after about five minutes of hearing that from me, it probably wouldn't be good. That's why I try. I want to try and stream on Twitch, but we will see. I already have it set up because I'm, you know, like I said, I support my brother and a few other people that I really like their content. I do watch Little Simsy. I do watch Naughty Nichan. I I have a lot. I have a lot of people I watch on Twitch. But you guys are gonna see this lovely struggle that I had with this bathroom. I really like this bathroom though. I think it's so forward and it's so different. And um, I like the idea of the master bedroom having a seating area. And I managed to do that. I managed to have a whole entire seating area while having a separate like living, uh, like sleeping situation within this master be uh, bedroom. I didn't think it was big enough, but I did it. Thank you, Alt Placing. Love you so much. Glad we have that feature. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm like watching this footage back and I'm like, why don't we have a corner bathtub? It would be so cool. It's gonna be so cool. And I had a hard time like trying to figure out what bathtub would look great. Like you'll see me do that like maybe once or twice. I might leave that in there maybe once or twice in any of my builds. Like because we just have so much stuff, you know, we have a lot of stuff. And like I wanna make sure that everything kind of flows nicely, everything looks great. Um, my biggest peeve is that none of the wood grains match in any of my houses. And I end up just defaulting to the darkest wood grain on any of the items that we have. Oh, uh, we have double sinks. Yes, we have double sinks. Sorry, it's not a master bathroom without double sinks, okay? And back to the swatches. Yeah, none of the browns match, but I like a lot of my houses to be brown and like woodsy kind of tone. But how are you guys doing? How are you guys all doing? It is the middle of the week. You guys have made it to the middle of the week. Go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. If you feel run down and ragged, it's okay. We'll get that second win. You still have a whole second half of the week to go. You can do this. If your day off is coming up, please do something. Treat yourself. I treated myself. I made, I had a steak and potatoes dinner and I usually don't do that because steak is very expensive. I only buy ribeyes with really exceptional marbling in it. You can blame my obsession with Shokugeki, which is Food Wars. It's an anime um, that had a whole entire episode on like meat education and even in the manga as well, there's like a whole, a whole bit on just educating you on meat, meat grades, marbling all of that stuff so now i only eat ribeyes because of that yes i was influenced by an anime go ahead come for me i can handle it <laughs> but anyway <laughs> treat yourself i don't care do something small drop your phone put your well don't drop it don't drop it we your phones are probably really expensive um don't drop your phone place it place it down gently lovingly and go take a walk you only need your watch to know what time it is. Go take a walk. Like, trust me, you will enjoy it so much, especially if you live in such a picturesque 
place as I do. I love to go on a walk. It's so great. I mean, honestly, I'm not an important person, so I don't really need my phone. I'll bring it just in case, but 11 out of 10 times, I don't get a single phone call or a single text message or anything that couldn't wait. But I love to walk around and just look at stuff, breathe stuff. This is the time to do that, just to take in nature for all of it, you know, just all of its worth. A lot of times time moves just so fast because we're doing everything. We're trying to get everything done. We're trying to achieve our goals in any way, shape, or form that we can. And we, t- we often get worn down and just burnt out. I was burnt out. Totally, hence why it took me so long to build my mom's house, estate, my mom's estate. That's literally what I'm calling it. It's her estate because this is not a house. It's an estate, honey. It is an estate. It is a large plot of land with a lot going on. But anywho, treat yourself, okay? This is a sign. If you need a sign to figure out if you needed to treat, if you could treat yourself this week, you can. It can be something small. Go get that pizza that you want. Go eat that avocado on toast. I personally do not like avocados on toast, but they taste really good in smoothies. They make them really creamy. So, yeah. Okay? Do it. Just find something small. Take some time for yourself. This is me telling you to take some time for yourself. Half the year is already over. You have a whole other half you got to get through. It'll be okay. You can do it. I have absolute confidence. Confidence. That's the word. Confidence. Not confident. What? English is hard. But I have absolute confidence that you will be able to do it, to push through it. You've come so far already. Why why, why would you not continue going? You know? Besides, I'm rooting for you. I don't know if you can hear me, but I am. I'm rooting for you. Ra ra Skumba. Jayo. <laughs> also, speaking of Jayo... I was actually um, thinking maybe doing another Let's Explore video where I'm just speaking in Chinese. Um, A lot of you guys don't know this because I don't really talk about this often. Um, I know Chinese. I went to college and I wanted to take Japanese and Japanese was not offered at my school, but Chinese was. And that was the closest thing I, you know, to Japanese. I did not want to do Arabic. I didn't want to do Korean. I didn't want to do it. So I did Chinese. So I do know Chinese. Am I as fluent as I used to be fresh out of college? No, but I figured this would be a really good um, way for me to reach more people um, by talking in Chinese. Also, it gives me a reason to visit my old Chinese teacher. She was awesome. She was the bomb.com. Love her to death. She was super helpful. Really made the transition, you know, from like speaking English to speaking Chinese a lot better than some teachers might. Um... I don't like Spanish. I'll be very honest. Why do we need so many tenses to say, I need to go to the bathroom or I'm going over there? I don't understand why we need so many. I'm sure there's a specific reason, but I don't uh, like the reason that you could possibly give me. That I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <sighs> wow. Sorry, that was a lot. But I am thinking about it. I actually found my old Chinese like flashcards um when i was cleaning out my car today well yeah yesterday when you guys are seeing this it's wednesday when i'm recording this it's tuesday but i found my old flashcards and it just brought back so many memories and i'm like this is a sign from the universe saying that i should try and make a video in chinese i should try it i'm gonna try it i'm gonna do it okay so right now in the video back to the video I finally decided on the wallpaper and the floor uh, tiles, the flooring in this house. I do not like putting wallpaper up until I've figured out what's all in the house. I know it's weird. I know it's frustrating. But if I put up a color, then I'll want to try and match that color to every single thing in the house. And the same thing with the wood flooring. I've been using this wood flooring a lot, mostly because it looks cleaner and the carpet swatches are totally garbage okay not like total garbage but like there's a time and a place for them and this house is just not the place for them okay all right cool just not the place for them but it's okay but we did get the wallpapers and the flooring figured out and i know my couches do not match color swatches but i like that 
kind of look, the whole brown and black look. I know I'm, I'm sorry, like, why are you doing this to me? But I liked it. I kept it. I haven't changed it yet. Now I'm just literally putting some bits and bubbles around the place to try and really round it out. I struggle a lot with that area next to the Christmas tree because I'm like, there needs to be something here, there needs to be something here. So I put down a train set. I mean, like, if this is supposed to cater to my, you know, to anyone's, like, grandparents, like, they finally made their millions, whatever, you know, and they want to build a house, like, why wouldn't it have those accents for, you know, the grandkids to come over and play with? And, you, you know what I mean? Like, so that's so why I put one down. It worked. It filled up the space. And then I put down, like, a little seating area um, in between the uh, den door and the master bedroom door. I, I honestly... I I am in love with this build, okay? I am horrendously in love with this build. And, like, I might end up moving my Sims to this house because it's just so much larger and it's, like, on such a bigger lot. And, it like, I don't know. I just really like it. I loved how I landscaped it. I love all the feedback that I've gotten from my mom on how to build this house, how it, she would want it to look. I love putting up all of the bits and the bubbles. But that being said, even though I love this house, I did have four other houses to build. Three of them for the children. One of them is a guest house. I managed to stick three beds in that guest house. How? I don't know. And a kitchenette and like a seating area and everything. Yeah. Oh, God. Let me get, let me tell you guys. I'm getting y'all hyped for it now. So when you see it, you can be like, oh my God, she did do that. She's not lying to us. Um, but with all that being said, here are the screenshots. Please like comment and subscribe share this with all of your friends if you have any ideas of what i should be building in future videos please make sure to drop me a line all of my socials are located in the description box please subscribe to my brother on twitch his name is ghost killer co just call him ghost but with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video toodles